A instead of M. In the linear equation, change M to A. So, right here, what I need you to write down, I need you to copy the box or the chart that's in the middle of the page. Copy the chart down. As you can see right here, it says exponential. Where the cursor is at, I need you to write down that word, exponential. And I need you to write down the word eight or eight. Okay? So, copy the chart the word exponential and write down the number eight. Go ahead and get started. While you're writing that, I will read the problem to you. A box containing 1,000 coins in shape. Okay. I'm Jayla. Um, for everybody that's getting here, this is the first problem. I need you to copy down the chart the word exponential right here and the number eight okay so while y'all doing that i'm gonna read the problem it says a box containing 1000 coins in shape and the coins are empty onto a table only the coins that land heads up are returned to the box and the process is repeated the accompanying table shows the number of trials and the number of coins returned to the box after each trial write an exponential regression equation rounding the calculated values to the nearest ten thousand. Use that equation to predict how many coins will return to the box after the eighth trial. Boom. The word exponential and the number eight. Now, the chart, you should have written down this word exponential. And the reason I have you to write that, this word down because you need to know what type of equation you are dealing with here. Okay? After that, I need you to write down the number eight. The number eight will play a port, a port part. The number, not the word. You're going to use this. This has for cubic. You're going to use this. And that is a plus D. Quadratic, you're going to use this one. And for linear, you're going to use this one. Let's move on. Okay, what I need you to do here, I need you to copy the chart again. You see that's the word exponential and 6.5. Copy that down. Whatever you don't have, I have it recorded. So, right here, 
What I need for you to do, copy this chart down. Make sure you are separating these problems. Don't put these problems together because we're going to have to work with these problems separate in a minute. Copy this table down. Again, you see exponential. And can somebody tell me my X this time? You know what the X is? I got it. Mm -hmm. No, what is my, um, the X that we got to find? Okay, what is the air temperature they want us to find? What would be my X? Mm -mm, that 50 degrees Celsius, I think. What they want us to find? 50. Yeah. So X will be 50, so put 50 down, please. Do you get that? Down well, the bottom of the problem, we're saying, yeah. use it to find. 